So we've got one seed pod open. Two, three, four. It's like half a dozen seed pods. Trust me, you don't want palm trees around your property because they're an absolute nuisance. Today, what we're gonna be doing is talking about a question from one of you guys in one of the latest videos. Um, it asks, hey, I've been watching your videos and they have helped me start a new lawn, uh, lawn business. I'm starting to get a few yards. I'm pretty happy with that. There is lots of videos on YouTube about starting lawn businesses and pretty much everything else to do with the lawn business. However, there is very little about the paperwork. I'm starting to get a few yards and my, and my way of writing stuff down in a book is starting to become confusing and not good. I know that in the States they use yard book, but as far as I know, it's inaccessible here. So obviously he's coming from Australia. I too am from Australia. Yard book, in fact, as mentioned, is not available in Australia. So what do I do? with regards to paperwork and running my business. Well, for starters, I run my whole business paperless. I don't have any paperwork as such in books, etc. Really, there's four, basically, four aspects of running your business, behind the scenes aspects. One is your estimates and invoicing, financial side of things with your bank, your incomings and outgoings. One is your scheduling, so when it comes to scheduling your jobs, etc., making sure they're all nice and organized. And the other, the, and the other is payments and keeping track of payments. These are basically the four avenues of running your business behind the scenes. All these things I don't use any paper for. Um, so let me explain a little bit about that and what I mean by that, how I manage without paper. So for starters with estimates and invoicing, I use an app called Joist. Uh, I have spoken about it in a previous video. I'll uh, link it above somewhere up here if you haven't had a look at it. Um, this app is really, really uh, good, especially considering it's free. Um, lots of really good software in it. Easy to use, easy to send off invoices. Customers are able to pull the invoice up. It lets you know when they've seen it, which is good for uh, you know making sure they've received it. So with the invoicing, etc., um, you're able to send off uh, reminders through the app as well which is really convenient you have to send off estimates which you can turn them into invoices again really convenient the apps just really streamlined and really well set up for lawn care now as for payments again I've spoken about this in another video um, but hopefully this video will be able to tie all those all those uh, things together um, so as for payments and taking payments um, payments I use an, uh, a little card reader called Square. Um, I'll link a video above here about that. Uh, Square is a really good company. They charge only 1.9% here in Australia for any uh, any card payments. It's really a quick and easy way to get paid without having to chase uh, payments up. Um, you can also send invoices through their system and they just take a small percentage off of it. You can also add people via card on file which means uh, you can do jobs for them and it takes it straight out of their account much like a phone plan and another easy and convenient way of being paid. I think it's like 19 bucks to actually buy it in Australia from a shop for the little card reader that just plugs into your phone. That's all I use, very easy, very convenient, again paperless and you can send receipts off via the app, by email or text message. So as for keeping track of payments, making sure people have paid and keeping track of uh, who has paid and who hasn't paid, it's really easy to get confused with this, especially once you get a lot of jobs. Um, you'll have a lot of payments that are due. Uh, say you do 10 lawn mowing jobs in a day. Uh, that's 10 payments you've got to keep track of to see who has paid and who hasn't paid. For that I used to use Samsung Memo, but I struggled finding a, I struggled being able to use it across different devices. So I've actually moved to Google Keep Notes. Um, reason for that is because I can access all those notes on the internet, as well as the phone and my tablet, all across the board. Um, I basically have the checklist uh, with the boxes and you can, uh, I have their name, the amount owed for all my customers and when they pay I just hit the box and it puts a line through it and I know I, that they've paid. So you constantly do that, check your account all the time, see who has paid and who hasn't paid and that way you'll never lose track of payments. Now as for scheduling um, in people I use Google Calendars. Again it's super easy using it, uh, you just 
put in your customer's name, perhaps, uh, what you're doing there, and, and add any notes, schedule in a time, um, and, and, and that way you keep it all nice and contained. Google Calendars is again across the board, you can sign into your phone, you can sign into your iPad, you can sign into your computer, and it's all accessible there. And that's how I keep track of scheduling using Google Calendars. And last of all is bookkeeping. So bookke bookkeeping is another tricky one when it comes to finances and incomings and outgoings out of your account. For that I actually use Google Sheets. Um, Google Sheets is yeah, basically like your Microsoft Excel. There's plenty of spreadsheets and stuff like that, spreadsheet templates on Google um, that you can find uh, for your specific country where you'll be able to uh, enter in all your incomings and outgoings in a very specific and accurate way so to keep track of payments and, and, and bookkeeping is, is essential for taxation time. It's also a really good way of knowing how much you're making per month, how much you're actually spending on different items etc um, and you can also tally it up at the bottom to have a good understanding of what you're spending on fuel, uh, whippersnipper line, uh, equipment maintenance, uh, uniforms, boots, uh, equipment in general, business insurance, and that way you're able to understand how much you're actually putting into your pocket out of every dollar you make. So across the board on all of these avenues of running your lawn care and landscaping business, everything I have online is backed up through the cloud. That way if my phone gets stolen um, or my computer packs itself or my phone packs itself, you're able to then replace the device or jump on another device and access it there. Joyce as well is accessible online. You're able to send off invoices and uh, quotes through their online website. Um, and yeah, highly recommend all these products that I've spoken about. Square as well if you want to uh, purchase a Square device. There's a link in the description. Um, check it out and uh, you can purchase it online and they'll send it out to you pretty quickly. Another good tip as well for running your business and making sure um, that uh, you're keeping to your schedule is I like to send a message out to all my customers the day before. Uh, just to remind them that we'll be around. That way you don't have any misunderstandings and you don't have any no-shows or keys not being left out or gates not being unlocked. That way you make it clear that you'll be around they know that you're coming around and then you're not wasting your time by going out there and then not being able to do the job because they didn't know that you were coming. So I hope these tips help. If you have any extra questions, leave them in the comment section below. But anyways, this concludes this video guys. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and as always, subscribe to the channel for more videos all about lawn care. My name is Hayden and I shall catch you in the next one.